We're here again at the new improved fireplace with the new improved Mr. H drinking Warsteiner, the beer you can drink while receiving benefits. Not the Mr. H is, <laughs> I am. That's by the by. I want to do a video about these yellow school buzzes, what they have in America. We now have them in Wigan, where we're from. But they're different. Now, these buzzes, where the window is, underneath there's a red question mark and it says um, future rocket scientist under each word it's, it's child sit you see future astronomer fu future world leader and you're thinking who are you fucking kidding you know a buzz driving through Platte Bridge you know you're not going to have fucking the next Barack Obama on it or David Cameron are you or fucking Steve Jobs no. you know what I mean you'll have fucking Steve no jobs you know, it should be th th them fucking buzzes, basically, should be more honest. And they should have like, um, future job seeker, question mark, um, future smackhead, f future, future fucking person in the onion rooms at f Itchin's Pickle Works, <laughs> you know, future fucking forklift truck driver at a, at a Maris Bridge uh, Asda place, yeah. you know, but yeah. I wouldn't mind. Our, our school system doesn't breed people to be things like that. No. At school, what, what, what did a teacher ever tell you you could be anything you want to be? No. They didn't tell me I could be. I wasn't. We, our generation weren't even ushered towards university, was we? No. It was like, right, you've left school now. There was no proms for us. You know, where, where somebody picked you up in a fucking big pink limo. You Actually, know. Actually, um, I've got a good story about that one. Let me just say this though. I was told fuck off by a teacher in a fucking corduroy fucking coat with a beard and sent out at school gates you know what yeah. i mean yeah. why are you still coming here go on fuck off sorry mate no no i'm just gonna say what about that how teachers put it in your head or they did back in them days um when you when you got to that and we was doing groups for an assembly you remember the old assembly yeah so you went to same primary as me and i was told oh we need mate numbers up so i was forced into becoming a airline pilot Actually, right, right. That's what I should have been, according to Mrs. Weaver. No, all oh, oh, right, it's a primary school yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charles used to make me draw, draw, draw fucking roads when other kids could draw pipes oh, and stuff, and it really upset me at the time. I've seen something as uh, nobody else could. But my, my point being is that like, no one is ushered to. If you if you go to a teacher and say, yeah, I want to be a rock star, they go, stop fucking stupid, you fucking idiot. Yeah. That's not going to happen to you. You know, you've got a. Uh, Further, you can go to college, you know what I mean, and then you won't even use them. And you'll, you'll go working in a warehouse, or you, you, there's, a, there's some factory work, there's building sites, there's plenty of things you can do, but don't don't think big, you know. Um, and although, you know, I'm not a, a rock star or anything like that, I know I've never followed suit. Because I remember uh, Mr. Mayasco, his name was, and when we were just turning 16, he goes, and if you go on the dole. You won't be able to afford a Mars bar. And then you look down and your shoelace will be snapped. And then you'll say, I can't afford a new shoelace. And even when I was a kid, I was thinking, fuck off, you stupid bastard. You know, yeah. you, people should just, the kids as well, be what you want to be. Don't let people hold you back, you know. Live your life your own way. Think your own thoughts and... If all else fails, go into a fucking woods and build a big fuck off fire. Uh, Jimmy O and Mr H, News at 10, Secret Location.